Hey guys, it's Piper. As of right now, I am excitedly waiting for Melanie's virtual concert. Just 18 more minutes to go, but I am not sure I'll receive the transmission because I'm pretty sure I shifted to an alternate universe. You see, I received an email from a fellow crybaby where they sent me a screenshot of Timothy Heller personally apologizing to them and admitting she lied. And I don't think it's fake either. It looks totally legit. Well, I say screenshot, it's more like a photograph of a computer screen. But anyway, this will be extremely difficult to Photoshop. I am 99% sure it's real. So I'll start with the email so you have context for the messages. The crybaby wishes to remain anonymous, so I'm going to respect their wishes and censor the personal information, and I'm going to take a page out of Rep Scion's book and censor the R word that YouTube page so much. Hi Piper, when the Timothy Heller allegations came out, I believe Turn reached out to her through Tumblr. It wasn't until I saw your deep dive and Raven Wolf's body language analysis in early 2019 that I started to question her story. Ultimately, I decided to support Melanie Martinez again. I logged into my Tumblr account today and saw a message from Timothy. I don't follow her on any other social media. I used my phone to take pictures of my computer screen and I shared these photos with you here. She has since deactivated her Tumblr account. I was searching to see if anyone else had received anything similar about the R allegations being faked, and I found your video from her about her from September. I know you said, sorry, it's harder to read other people's emails than it is to read my own scripts. <laughs> I know you said that you wouldn't make any more videos about Timothy, but I wasn't sure who to share this with. If you use my screenshots, I would like to stay anonymous. Thanks, name. Here is the original message they sent to Timothy back when they believed her on December 19th, 2017. If you recall, this was about two weeks after the allegations originally hit, I believe on December 4th. Hi, I saw the Twitter stuff and I'm really sorry. I'm feeling for you and I hope you're doing okay. I know you're probably getting some so much shame and sh** for coming out against Melanie Martinez, but thank you for your bravery and I want you to know that there are people out there who support you. And then Timothy responded about three years later on uh, October 12th, 2020 with, Hello, sorry it took three years to respond. I feel guilty about what I had done back then. I had felt so selfish and jealous of my former friend Melanie Martinez's career. I faked the allegation. So much has impacted me and I don't know what was going through my mind when I sent out those allegations. She never really <coughs> raped me and I am so sorry. This is very interesting to me, and if anyone else has received a message like this, please email it to me. I'd like to see it. So, analyzing Timothy's reply, this one sounds a lot more genuine than the alleged Instagram apology, which I'm still not convinced is real. Although, just about everyone gave me the same time frame, I haven't found a device that lists the time in that format. So, even though the pictures aren't HD, there's no proof that that apology is real, and thus I've decided to hold off on judging her for it. So, anyway, either way, though I had low standards, you know, at least there's no deflecting in this one. I mean, it is a little woe is me, but I can understand that. And at least she admits she did it and said why she did it. And both of those things are key to having a good apology that gives people closure. It's a good start. Of course, this isn't a public apology, so you could argue that it doesn't matter how genuine it is because Melanie wasn't even supposed to see it. And I do believe she owes Crybabies and Survivors of SA a public apology, but she actually, I mean, she especially owes one to Melanie because she personally and probably deliberately hurt her, though I suppose if she ever apologized to Melanie in private, we'd never know, but... And I do have a hard time believing Timothy sent this message without a reasonable assumption it would be screenshotted at some point because so many of her personal DMs have been screenshotted. I wouldn't be surprised if most of her followers weren't crybabies spying for, like, an opportunity like this. Though she could always call it fake, like I said. It's harder to fake a photo than it is to fake a screenshot. Anyway, uh... This could be Timothy testing the waters on one person because she was teasing the idea of a public apology. It would be very stressful to just jump in and apologize to not just the person you lied about, but to their fan base of millions of people. So seeing a baby step like this, it makes sense to me. It also makes sense that she would choose this user in particular to respond to as her message was extremely empathetic and expressed support for her. She probably wouldn't engage with someone who was sending her hate on this level, you know. And it does take quite a while for Tumblr to delete your PFP from their system. I know this for sure because I've seen plenty of deactivated profiles who still have a PFP. So, I'm not seeing any red flags here. Everything makes sense. It all seems to check out. So, I'm going to be bold. I'm going to call this one real. I'm also going to take a break to talk about my sponsor, who is one of my favorite companies. I'll let you guess. Yes, duh, it's Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community where you can learn new skills for less than $10 a month with an annual membership. 
This affordability makes it far better than art school in my opinion, and I highly recommend it to anyone who wants to learn a new skill being seeing, illustrating, writing, crafting, etc. Professional illustrator Lacey Jordan teaches a class on cultivating your own unique art style called Digital Illustration for All. Discover, cultivate, and share your own unique personal style. She's a very engaging speaker. I consider this class a must for anyone who's having a hard time developing their style as an artist as you need a good style, a good unique style in order to be, in order for your art to be recognized, you know, in order to make a name for yourself. So this is something that's very important. It's also a great last minute Christmas gift for a lifelong learner in your life that you barely know anything else about except that they draw sometimes, but you're sure they'll find something on there to do. Please click the link in my description for a free trial of Skillshare and follow me on there, Piper Sweeney, as I'll be posting new classes in the future. Back to the video. Uh, as for what changed and made Timothy decide to apologize, some people theorized in my last video about her that it was because a former friend ratted her out and tried to use it as a bargaining chip to manipulate Melanie into befriending her. And I'm not going to get into it because I don't want to give that loser any clout. I have a long memory and she may have apologized to Melanie, but she never apologized for her comments misgendering me and mocking me, so I'm gonna act like she doesn't even exist. Who was I just talking about? Nobody. I think I was just talking out my ass about nothing. Personally, I assume Timothy going in a new direction is less about her falling out with who's it and more about her being in therapy. I have seen her post that she's been in therapy this past year and Timothy's therapist probably brought this up more than once after all if she really carried guilt for what she did well for one that would explain why she's been so aggressive at defending herself it must have been to relieve the cognitive dissonance and make herself feel better and two any therapist worth their salt would suggest she apologize because she really can't live in her own skin until she does. Of course, it doesn't really matter now, I guess, because Timothy has gone silent on pretty much all social media, and really, I do think that's kind of a shame if she had just apologized like this publicly instead of to one person in a chat, and, you know, preferably a long time ago, but she could still have a career and a web presence. She didn't have to hide or cancel herself. She just had to do the right thing and tell the truth, and it's just, it's highly frustrating to me because... I don't see any reason she couldn't have found success taking the hard road. Her singing voice has gotten better and she's a pretty girl and, you know, there was this one song she released one year I actually liked. It, it's called Not Even For You. It's pretty catchy and maybe it's because I was extremely drunk but I got up and danced to it. Like, I listened to it over and over and started singing along. I was so drunk. I mean, then again, I like Paris Hilton's music so I guess I'm not really a connoisseur but you get my point. She had potential and I really believed if she worked hard enough, she could have made it without having to drag down a successful woman, you know? And if today she came from a genuine place of remorse and vulnerability, she could turn her whole life around. I mean, like I said, I'm over it. I've been over it a long time. But I know there are a lot of people who still feel hurt that they were turned against Melanie, that they were bullied and called our apologists, etc., etc., all the stuff that followed. And I really feel like a public apology is necessary to alleviate this hurt. In particular, I think she owes an apology first and foremost, obviously, to Melanie Martinez, then also to survivors of SA, to the fans of Melanie, and to her own fan base. And I don't think I have to say more because I'm sure she knows what she needs to apologize for, and I think everyone would feel a lot better if she covered all her bases like that. I know the reaction was bad to the Instagram story apology for those who do believe that that was real, but that one wasn't genuine, again, if real. I remember in my open letter to Timothy, there were a lot of comments saying if she really apologized honestly, they'd forgive her. So I'm thinking if she really sat down and filmed an honest apology video, which I know those are rare anyway, if she did, a lot of crybabies would forgive her or, or at least stop harassing her. Of course, only Melanie can forgive her for the hit that her reputation took, but now that she's more successful than ever, I assume she's moved on. Melanie seems to have found plenty of friends in the music industry that lovingly support her and care about her for who she is, like Lucy Loon and Young Alita, who are both great artists in their own right, by the way. I recommend checking them out. So, anywho, if Timothy Heller wants to turn her new leaf, like I said previously, I'll be patient. I'll be willing to support her in that, even help her. That's what I've really wanted her to do all along. I don't want to spread hate. I just, I think that's the only way to diffuse all of this drama, for lack of a better word. It's what's best for everyone. It's, some people got mad at me for calling it drama in my last video because I guess people have forgotten that the word drama means a state, situation, or a series of events involving interesting or intense conflict of forces, source Merriam-Webster.
and it's not just a genre of YouTube videos. Thanks for reminding me why I love being a YouTuber so much, really. My favorite part is the judgy comments where everyone assumes the worst of me and reaches for toxic subtext that isn't there. Please just shoot me, preferably in the ovaries, so they have no choice but to give me a hysterectomy if I survive, which hopefully I won't. Can't wait to see what I get accused of this time. Sorry. Little baby meltdown there. I'm too sober for this shit. Anyway, thank you to all of my Patreon supporters. Please rate, subscribe. Have a great day and blessed be motherfuckers. Oh, and don't forget to tell me your opinion on this. Uh, are you gonna forgive her? Do you want her to apologize more? What do you want? Uh, I, I don't know what else to say. And concert in seven minutes. I don't care about this anymore. It's time to fucking party. Blessed be motherfuckers. Oh, I already said that. Well, whatever. Fuck you.